Hi guys, Julia is here, let me know if you can hear me well. Today we will be drawing with soft pastels, Italian lemons, so let me know if you can see me and hear me well. Yeah, I will, uh, um, if you are going to draw with me, please join my YouTube channel and you will be able to see better on the screen. Today we will be drawing Italian lemon just will show you look what we will create during this 45 um, 50 minutes so prepare your pencils prepare your soft pastel chalks and paper let me know if you can hear well and I'm giving you a few seconds to prepare so I will be drawing with soft pastels with pencils German pencils and I'm usually sketching during our live streams on this sketch part so it's a craft paper you can use any paper you have and today we are drawing these beautiful lemons so you will need yellow green color some gray and um, I'm using this uh, my sketch as a reference but actually I got a photo from my friend who is lucky enough to be in Italy now and she sent me this beautiful lemons Italian lemons so we will be drawing today and creating this beautiful summer mood so I will be switching my camera now on my uh, table let me know if you are ready and we will start just in a few seconds I'm so excited this is a great picture we are creating today so I will start with basics, uh, telling about composition, about colors uh, which we will be using and showing you some techniques in soft pastel. So, so this is just amazing uh, way to spend this 45 minutes creating this beauty. So switching my camera now. And so I will move a little bit in order you can see it well. And let me know. Or maybe I will just change the position for the lemons. So I will be sketching, uh, starting to sketch with this uh, German pencils. I am using uh, Napoli yellow. So you can use any similar color, just any you have. Um, I'm using something similar to the paper tone. So in order I can see. So we are working in this composition here and actually we have this straight line but um, I'm breaking it a little bit with the directions of my lemons so um, I will make it in order you can see this way and um, yeah like this let me know if you can see it well if you have questions you can ask me i will try to answer so i'm starting drawing sketching my lemons i have two lemons here and a flower so i need some space here flower as a circle here a lemon it's a little bit it's you can draw actually like a circle and then we will make a little more oval type with this seam here and its tail here where it's so if it's too circle, you can always rub it out. I usually use this um, fabric castle erasers or you can use kneadable eraser. It works well with soft pastels. So it's all about composition here because we want to create this line, but not obvious. So we are a little bit changing the direction of our lemon and this one will go in this direction. So it will be very close to this one and 
Now I'm drawing another lemon here, just a circle again, and it's a little bit, can be small or big, it depends on your paper size. I have a 5 format, so I'm trying to put it everything here, and if you have a 4 format, then probably you will have more space to draw. So, and this is how they are just waving uh, on the tree, growing on the tree, and we have this sunlight coming from here. We will just use chalk here to draw a sunlight. And we are creating this mood in uh, this impressionistic manner here I'm using, so I'm not going, I won't be going uh, into much details, but if you wish to go into as many details as uh, you want, you can spend more time and create very realistic drawing if you are into it. I'm uh, in, more into impressionism manner of drawing, so I'm showing you how to create this moody, beautiful uh, contemporary drawing pretty fast. So, and here I'm just sketching the flower. It's first I show this circle here, and then just sketching it. It's ha it usually has like lemon. If you will be very particular to show, look at the flowers, then you will see that five petals, or maybe you can create more. So I'm drawing five petals here, and then a leaf going this way, and one leaf I have just repeating the shape of my lemon. So I'm making a little drama here and repeating the lines, and it creates this movement and also creates the movement how we look around um, our um, lemon so we make our view um, make the direction where our viewer looks so and you can draw some leaf here coming out so actually you can add as many leaves as you wish uh, but i will just show you how to create this perfect like sketch, fast sketch, uh, not, that it's not as difficult as it can be seen. So, and now all we have to do, like my sketch is ready, and now all I have to do is just to color it. I will start coloring with pencil, so you actually can create this picture just with soft pastel pencils, but I will start using soft pastel pencils and then we'll use some chalk. So, we'll start playing with light and shadow. You can take uh, your um, I would say like lightest yellow here and try to sh uh, shade it like all around and you see like with pencils it won't be as bright as if you will be using chalk. I'm not very accurate like doing it fast and effortless and then you will use a white pencil for just to show the place where will be your uh, spotlight and it will be reflection here and you can also draw some spotlight here and I will be using gray light gray it's um, aluminium gray I'm using here in the red pencils just to show the shadow and then I will just use fingers to smooth it around and to make this like view of the lemon it's already like we feel the shape like we just spend a few seconds and already we can understand clearly that this is a lemon but not, we will have to play a little bit with more details but I won't go into much details I will just show you how to shade and to um, get an idea of shape as it's 3D shape but in other way to spend more time if you wish to add some details or spots and dots which usually lemons have then it will take probably a little bit longer time but you actually can ha do it and get an idea how to color it with me and then go into your maybe more realistic manner if you wish or work with me on this effortless impression is manner. So you see I'm what I'm doing I'm just using a pencil and finger here and you can th do the same with the chalk if you don't have pencils or do the same with pencils just color pencils it's not necessary at all to use only pastel pencils if you have only for example pencils from your kids or something you can definitely use them to create this beautiful piece. So I'm adding a little bit yellow and I would like 
to add a little bit orange well it won't be seen like as many orange color maybe on the uh, lemon itself but it will be definitely a little bit da uh, like da uh, darker shapes and I'm shading when I'm shading I'm walking in different dire directions to create this 3d feeling and to get an idea of lemon and you see it's very like nothing difficult here it's very easy so if you have never ever drawn before believe me you can definitely do this and if you will be drawing and just like feel that you really really love it and enjoy it then don't forget to join my online course the link will be below this video and you will get all the basics of pastel drawing and it would create beautiful uh, pictures which you could frame and make a gift to your friends family or just to decorate your room and your house with beautiful artworks so here we go and now i will be moving to another lemon and leaves and then i will show you how to add details with chalk um, and how to make it like more to pop up our lemon so now it's already we have the understanding the feeling of lemon but um, we will probably need to add some more details um, to our lemon so i will just go to another one and then we'll come back uh, to this one so it's actually how all the artists usually walking all around the picture moving and creating so the same will be here like um, I will already put spotlight here just to show you and reflection will be here and some spotlight here will add so you see that I'm doing it in the first just because sometimes on some pastel pencils it could be difficult to add spotlights on if, especially when you are using darker uh, colors uh, that is why I'm doing it at the beginning but you can try to do it at the end and just to color everything with yellow and then put the spotlight uh, and um, maybe it will be as bright as here like it depends on pencils and materials actually you are using so in my pencils I usually do it f first and then add, add in some details. So I will, here I'm using, as you see, some green and brown for shadows and a little bit orange, but actually you can use even purple and you can also use some uh, blue here, if you wish. Um, today I'm just in this mood like to keep it very natural and not to break the colors so i will be keeping these colors but if you will add for the shadows a little bit purple or blue the picture will definitely pop up and i usually often do it if you will watch on my youtube channel other videos you will see that i'm just love to add purple and blue into shadows so and now i'm trying to give some 3d volume to this lemon just shading it <laughs> doing nothing special but it's already like you can see the light is here and we will create this sunshine uh, so I'm just adding some few details here and then I will put some chalk strokes and it will become even more like impressionistic and more realistic I would say this way so, and this one probably could be a little bit darker here and this piece I also can drop into shadow and add a little bit um, brown here. So, if I am too fast let me know, um, I will give you time to repeat and um, wait for you so i'm adding a little bit um, brown here and here just to make a contrast and to show this um, edges and 
to add this feeling of the shape, I would say. And you can do the same with green and um, you can also try to add, if uh, you like this, you can try to add these dots just to show um, this shape like of the skin of the lemon. I will just do it eventually a little bit, but you can do it like uh, into um, add more details with, uh, with it if you wish. So I won't be now adding as much details as I want to show you some more um, techniques with coloring and adding uh, your leaves. But you can do this. And don't forget to share your artworks with me on my Instagram and Facebook pages. So I will usually show and share to my followers there. So you can see the artworks of others. So now I'm starting just to shade leaves a little bit. So I'm using the lightest green here just to shade it now. And then I will to go into more details like I need to shade this leaf because it will go into sunlight as you can see if you are on YouTube watching on YouTube the stream then you will see that I will put just now it into sunlight so I will just put an underground colors here just a little bit and then I will add um, sunlight and actually what I love about like adding a little bit shadow here as you see. So um, I love about pastels. You never can roll, uh, go wrong with them because you always can shade it, blend it, add some details. And that is why I love pastels. I love oil painting, but also I love pastels because I can always correct and add some details. That's really like big love to pastels because of this. So it's between drawing and painting. Maybe because of this I also love this. So and now we will just have to, I need to make it darker here. I just see that I need to do it. Um, and um, a little bit orange probably. Just a sunlight reflection here. And now I will just show you how to do this uh, light. It's re really very easy. So I will put somewhere here just the sunshine so I'm playing with the chalk now and putting sunlight here so it actually goes in this I would say six directions and then you can just blend a little bit it just blend and add probably a light yellow if you have and just create this magic if you wish to do so and you see how already it's popping up and then we will be blend it's become uh, while we add background it won't be as bright <laughs> as now it can see because I will be making my lemons brighter then and it all will come together so and now I will go to the petals of the flower and will be shading the leaves and creating a background so I will show you how to create a background here as well so, and you can blend it or you also, if you don't want to do it, don't like to do it with your fingers, you can always use this um, paper blenders just to make it more realistic, I would say, and blend it up. So, I mean, you can use any size of blenders you have and it could be not only your fingers. So. And now um, I need to add some me medium yellow here. And you can leave the strokes like this uh, because we are not trying to copy an image. We are not trying to copy any photo. We are just creating a piece of art which means we are creating mood and idea of this lemons so and we have absolutely a right to leave these strokes here and now I will be 
just adding some shadows in the middle of the petals of the flower and um, just shading it and adding some details with chalk at the end and you see already how the picture is like building up and connecting so in one way we are just into 20 minutes of drawing but already we have this created this beautiful lemon so it's really not as difficult as, as some can think so it's really great stuff to learn and to try so if you are thinking of starting learning and drawing or, or choosing a medium which you would like to choose so so i will just recommend you to pay attention to soft pastels this is really a great medium to use and a lot of famous artists you know like Degas, Marie Cassatt were drawing in soft pastels so I really really recommend this medium and now I will be drawing leaves but I will start with medium green just to show the shape of the leaves and then will be shading them so and here i have the darkest part so i can use like forest green here to show the shadows and i actually have to do to put some green under the slide because i put the light above it and now i'm shading and this part of the leaf will be under the sun as the sun drops here so it will be the lightest part of the leaf and it's great always to keep uh, it in mind by light and shadows even if you are working in this effortless manner you still have to keep it in mind uh, to, because light and shadow is what all about how the volume is created on pictures and i will just add some dark green here and as my um, lemons are on the tree so i'm not dropping in sunlight and obviously i'm having the skylight behind my lemons so you can use blue background or maybe light gray i have this tone paper here so i'm just will show a little bit gray out of the sky but you can use blue and just to show the idea that the lemons are on the open air and I will drop a little bit yellow just to shade with pencils and then go to chalks um, so I'm using the lightest one for the leaves and you can draw as many leaves as you wish actually I'm just showing a few of them just because uh, to save the time and to give an idea and you can draw more leaves here just because it would be a lot of leaves around lemons so I'm just shading it around and not sure if you can see it on Instagram but on YouTube channel definitely on the screen of your um, computer you will see it properly so if you would like to repeat this picture to create it for yourself then go on my YouTube and draw with me there and then on Instagram I would say it's just to show you just to give you an idea how it could be created and then if you would like to repeat it it would be easier to do it from your computer then you can see as many details as possible there so and the, the main colors here are green and um, yellow but I will be using also a little bit gray a little bit like dark green so uh, to create this volume and now I will show 
this line here and this part will be into sh in the shadow so and I will just go to the chalk now to create the shadows and shapes of my leaves and you can blend it with your finger uh, you can blend it with the blender and you can just walk this chalks and this leaf also will be into shadow so i i will switch on to just on the chalk i'm using rembrandt here so you will see how chalk will add some volume and why i'm doing this on the second stage because if i will start drawing with chalks in the from very beginning then i won't be able to put any of pencils on the chalk surface because it's harder and pencils are not drawing on these surfaces that is why first i put it with pencils and now just adding details and drawing with my chalks and you see chalks gives just marvelous just amazing uh, colors it's because it's just more much more uh, pigment here and it creates beautiful just amazing i would say feeling of color and i actually love chalks probably sometimes even more because you can use fingers here and you don't need any other material so we'll drop some light here as well on the leaves and what i will be doing now is i'm just will be playing with shadows and lights so i will be adding some lights and i won't be adding too much details on the leaves i will just give an idea of this color so i keep in mind like a smart artist as this part is lighter then i will have to drop some darker colors here that's it that's how it works so and we are definitely like um, smart artists with you so we are just adding some lights and shadows and i'm showing the shape of the sleeve and you see and here this leaf will go almost into light so you can drop some yellow here and this one will be also in the light and i'm leaving this like strokes very visible in the contrast with lemons like lemons you will see that they are into more details while leaves would be more impressionistic and strokes will be seen better on them and this is like a contrast i'm specially creating here just to create the contrast of shadows of light and surfaces so and you see it really works here great it really works and you can use like darker yellow here and some lighter and play to create this um, 3d volume into your lemons and a little bit green here and i you can also use dark green or if you wish you can use blue or even black just to show some part of shadows you can definitely pop some color but i wouldn't be like i would like to leave this piece more monochromic so i will just leave a little bit so you can use a little bit black here or dark green just have a look and decide which color you would prefer to use and i'm just putting these leaves into shadows here and I, when i'm coloring i'm just keeping always in mind which part of the leaf is in the light and which part in, of the leaf is in, in the shadow and that's it so easy peasy like this <laughs> nothing difficult 
and actually I need probably to add some shadows here then I can drop a little bit maybe gray or a little bit even orange would work great here so just have a look which color you think would um, work in your painting so maybe a little bit orange here just to pop up this lemon well lemon are not orange you would say to me but you can just imagine this light and this color if you will be very attentive while looking at the lemons so maybe dark orange not too bright would work great and what I have to do now is just to work uh, with the leaves and here you can go as much details or as little details as you wish so I will just use white chalk to add some uh, spotlights here and it's already you can see it's already amazing uh, but I will definitely use some lights here and here because this part we remember with you it was in the light and because it's come out from here so it would be popping up and I'm just adding some bright white here to the flower so and continue to shadow my leaves and you can add some like details here or just leave it like this it also you get the idea of this leaf and you have to decide if you want to add more details or just leave it like this it's actually up to the artist um, how the artist think to leave it I think it works great in this manner so and we'll drop a little bit light here and here just pretending this is the light here just now it's all about like details I would say it's more about the mood you would like to create with your painting and add the details here so you probably would like to add some shadows because it will just pop up your lemons and you drop up some shadows here and here just with yellow just with um, gray uh, but you can blend it and then I will use lighter just lighter I would say gray and it will be working as a background already so you see I'm just mixing up and just giving a little idea of the shadow and here it would be in the light so I will use just to show you how to create the shadows here just you can drop from your lemons from your leaves if you wish or you can leave it light um, and to show the idea of the sky so or dropping shadows from each lemons here and here and I will mix it up just blend it yeah like this and I would like to add some yellow here and this is like what we are creating here so if you really love the manner and love the idea today it's very impressionistic leaves I have got so if you like it then join me I would be happy to see you and my students just adding some details on the sleeve and you can always if something you don't like you always can change it just use your finger and go with this so I won't be playing too much on the background because it goes further from the viewer so I have the full right not to add as many details as on the first um, plan just because it's near to me and then I that is why I'm playing more details showing more details on my lemons 
and then not so much details on the leaves so and still it's never enough like it's difficult always to stop but it's already the idea of this picture is already you got it so and now I will add more background just what I would show you that we have this idea of light here on the left side and shadow here so I will just continue using this I'm the technique I'm using the um, side of my chalk and I'm just trying to pop the color with the fingers to put it between my leaves and just to create the idea of the sky and space and light and shadows so this is how it works and you are just trolling it and here you can use only white or just make your, uh, mix your white again I'm working with the side of the chalk here and you can just mix it uh, with bright lemon I would say um, or maybe you can add a little bit green just up to you I will add a little bit maybe yellow maybe green just we'll see how it goes so even I'm creating the second time still all the time I want to add something new just to try and see how it works together so it's already like I will mix with yellow a little bit not too much just to not to pay a lot of attention to the background just to create this um, feeling of light and you can draw some like strokes here and maybe some green and orange and just mix up and it's already beautiful background we have got the more green you will put it will give an idea of this um, green leaves which can be behind your leaves and can go there so you can just put a little bit green to create this idea of other leaves on your background but already the picture is pretty amazing and you can just maybe drop some colors here some blue or green but it's already like a finished piece it's like we were working in Alla Prima manner and it's already just an amazing picture we have done and if you will just frame it and decorate your room I think it's an amazing piece to create so don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel support it and uh, subscribe to my Instagram channel if you still not just to see more if you would like to see more videos uh, send me the ideas you want me to, dr to draw next time and I would be happy to draw with you guys I really enjoy drawing with you so I will just I think it's pretty amazing we have created today just will switch my camera now it's really like yummy or maybe you will want to add some more light here and here then you just use your chalks because it will be much brighter than you see how bright this white is like it depends on the level you want to create of brightness and shyness so if you want to add some more sunlight sunlight then just use a white chalk yeah it looks pretty amazing now really love it and thank you guys for watching and drawing with me and I will just show you what we have created today beautiful picture don't forget to subscribe on my youtube channel and I'm looking forward to see you next time and subscribe to my soft pastels course thank you guys for watching wishing you a beautiful beautiful Sunday enjoy this beautiful weather love you guys bye bye